Katie Fing, what is your favourite Australian animal? You know what, I'll have to say, it's a koala, purely because when I had a day off last week, I decided to go to the beach and a lot of my team decided to go and see koala bears and the fact that they smell like B.O. and I won't say what the other thing they said they smell like, makes them pretty cool. So I'm going to say that. Ashley Spencer, what hair products do you use? Your hair is so shiny. Argan oil is amazing um, for your hair because it just keeps it nice and nice. Um, TG Lusterizer, I live by that. I use it every day. Um, Talia Michelle Smith, what's your favourite film? That is the toughest question because there are so many, but I'm going to say it's not my favourite film, but I saw it yesterday and I saw Salt and I want to be Angelina Jolie because she's cool and she can change her hair and look hot, whatever she does. What's the cutest thing a fan has ever said to you? When I grow up, I want to be like you. I think that's pretty cute. Annie Sexton, that's a cool name, Annie Sexton. What do you do on the plane trips to stay amused besides sleep? Sleep, eat, watch films, read magazines, write songs, listen to my iPad. Um, I hate when I wake up and I the toilet. Oh, I hate that. So annoying. Natalie Zerba, what would you do if you weren't a singer? We were actually talking about this the other day. Oh, I'd do that. No, um, I don't know. I would do something fun. I would be, I don't know, I'd work with kids or I'd be, oh, I don't know. I'd be an artist of some sort, I don't know, a makeup artist or a stylist or a motivational speaker. Or I love cleaning, so maybe I could be like a singing, singing cleaner. Christy Williams, will you get a chance to read your fan mail when you come home? Um, my fan mail is in hiding at the moment. I have thousands of letters at my house and I have to do it bit by bit. I get like 8,000 letters a week, so it's tough to get through it when you don't have any time given to do so. But when I do, it's, it's just know that I have it and know that I can't reply all the time, but I get it and I see it and I appreciate it. Rita Xavier, what do you define, how do you define your style? I don't know, I've got a lips dick, look. A lips dick, do you get it? It's rude, I don't know if you're gonna put that on there, but I think it's brilliant. Um, that's it, that's how I define my style, by my lips dick. Simon Birchall, at what age did you know that your music was that music was your passion? Um, I was about nine, I think, and I realised that if I could spend every day singing and be able to pay for ballet shoes with singing, that was pretty cool. And I could give my mum and dad back the money that they used on singing lessons. And I think I just realised that you could actually make something that you loved your everyday job. That was great. Any plans for your birthday on March 27th? Obviously, it's going to go down, Keith Mass. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got three days off around my birthday. Um, so I might go wild and lie, and lie in and have a breakfast. And, I don't know, treat myself to a wimpy. Arthur Ribeiro. Why the artistic name Jesse J? I don't think my name's artistic at all. I think it sounds like I'm 12. Um, no, Jessie J is just catchy. I was Jessie J um, and then I was Jessie when I got signed because the J wasn't cool. Because it was like Adele, Duffy, Madonna, Beyonce, Pink. And everyone was like, there's no one with two names. So I tried Jessie, but the J just never disappeared. So I, I just thought I'd keep it back. Nick Wee. What do you like most about Australia? Do you know what? I actually get why people move here. I understand. Sunshine, amazing food, great people. Just, it's such a nice place and it's clean. It feels like everyone that lives here respects living here. And the beaches, there's always something to do. Um, and I want to learn, learn the accent. What do you like most about Australia? I like the accent, and that's the end of that.